Well, today's the day we've all been waiting for, but first... Today's gonna be a very good day. Now that we have the car tuned and running on a speed density, just the way that it sounds, it's like so crazy. All right, so we have a lot of stuff to do today, guys, and... <laughs> How do, I, how do I even start today's video? The agenda for today is, we do have about a quarter tank of gas, or a quarter tank of ethanol, I should say. I haven't really felt the full potential of the car, so we're gonna go ahead and play around the car today, and then we are gonna go ahead and drop the wide body GTR to paint. Yes, I said we're gonna go to paint, guys, because this is the day that I've been waiting. And I'm sure for all of you guys that's been watching as well, you guys have been waiting and waiting and waiting. But first, I even also forgot, welcome back to the channel, guys. I totally forgot to introduce myself, but welcome back to the channel, guys. It's your boy Lance, the dream, and I always say this, is to build cool cars and have fun with them. So make sure you guys subscribe to my channel, hit the post notifications. And I also been noticing, or I also been trying to go into my YouTube analytics and majority of you guys that's watch my videos, I wanna say about 60 to 75% of you guys are new viewers. For all of you guys that's not subscribed, please make sure you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm located here in Hawaii. And if you guys wanna see cool automotive content, this is the channel to go see. And with that being said, let's go and have some fun today. Oh yes. So I wanted to take a U-turn around the main road, but I wasn't too sure. But we literally have a freaking Matson truck parked in the middle of the road with no truck attached to it. What? As we're waiting at the stoplight, I just wanted to point out that, yes, I know the interior in the rear is still not put together. Me and Aaron put the airlift suspension in a long time ago, probably like four or five months ago. And to be honest, we we're kind of rushing through it. So I don't remember if I have all the clips and all the hardware to secure everything back. But there's only one way to find out. Hi, uh, can I just get a salted cream cold brew, please? Uh, grande. That's it. Thank you. I know in the last video, I got my coffee and banana bread. I forgot to order my banana bread today. So while we're waiting here in line at Starbucks, literally the smell of the ethanol, it smells so much better than gas. It's very, very expensive here in Hawaii. If you guys wanna know how much I paid for ethanol, I paid $11 per gallon. So I bought 10 gallons of it, so I paid $110 for ethanol for the GTR. And it, it's really not feasible to run ethanol here in Hawaii. That's why guys, only it runs so little bit. But man, it's, the smell of it, it just smells so good. when it says that the car max or like max torque is at about 4,000 plus RPM. Oh my gosh, you can really feel the difference. It'll creep up from three to four, but as soon as you hit four, oh my God, at 4,000 RPM, this thing just yanks hard. Oh my God. This car is slow. I'm not compared to other G... Oh my God. Compared to other GTRs, this car is probably the slowest GTR here in the islands. What? I don't care. This car is already wide body. It's already meant to be heavy. I really don't know what the max boost pressure that the stock turbos of a GTR can handle. I want to say, I think 20 PSI at the most. Either way, this car feels so much different. Switching from the map sensors to the speed density kit and just having the car running on Venta atmosphere, it's like a whole different driving experience now. You know, to be honest, I really don't know what excites me more. The fact that we're taking this car to paint or the fact that we're actually gonna be able to cut this hair off. But that being said, oh my God, this car just feels so much better. I must say though, for the short lived amount of time that we had playing around with the car, I'm just happy that nothing fell off so far. And might I mention that there's only about 80% of the hardware that's actually on the car. So if it's not fully secured and it stays on, at least I know and it just comforts me knowing that once we have the car fully bolted up, 
fully dressed up with all the hardware. She was, she hold, and that's a plus. Now this doesn't look like your normal place to paint. All right, we are here at Fly Garage. So let me just explain the setting. It's not, how do I say it? Industrial setting. The reason why I went with Andrew is because I got connected through him, through a friend of a friend. He also did jobs um, of like my own family members and stuff. But the reason why I wanted to have the car here was because of the fact that it just completely ties in to the story of the car, which is garage built. And he does everything in his garage. He has his own garage and he set it up as his own little booth. On second thought, they already got me going into the booth. Check out that Kirby over there. Look at that Kirby. <laughs> All right, since now we're here in the booth, actually, we can do a, an official introduction. Andrew over here. What's up? Cranston over there. These guys are gonna be taking care of the car. I'm not gonna say what color it's gonna be, but these guys have done many, many builds that I've seen, and this car is gonna have a very good treatment. I, I know that for a fact. Nothing's changing with the carbon. I'm keeping all of the carbon exposed. Black top is gonna be the same. Carbon hood. I was thinking about doing some kind of change up with the carbon, but I really like the carbon exposed. Remember when I said in the previous videos, we etched this out. They might be able to take care of it. I might not have to change the whole headlight. Like literally guys, just look how thick it's gonna be. And when it's all in one color, that's what's gonna make everything so much better. So here we're gonna, we've got you, GTR wide body. We added your, your pick already. Mm -hmm. And we have your color code. For vlog purposes, I'm gonna blur out what color it says. <laughs> See this car in a week? Hopefully a week. Yeah, a week or so. <laughs> you can have it as long as you want. <laughs> I need to clean up the garage anyway. There's, there's a lot of kit to work. Yeah, I did what I can. I told you, we just like chanced it. It's just a little bit of touch ups, like you said. Everything is straight, really. Yeah, we just did it in the garage and we're yeah, just like. Everything is straight, we just gotta. I watched your video. <laughs> all right, it's all yours. I'm gonna head out. Well, that's that. Now I gotta go to my Uber because he's been waiting for a while. Oh, you bought coffee? Frick, I bought coffee! <laughs> oh my god, we got more coffee. Look at that. See, that's how you know we're cousins. Oh my god, and it's a venti. <laughs> Sorry, it took long. I was explaining all the stuff they're gonna do to the car. But, yeah, man, I bought coffee before I came here. Frick! That's too much coffee for today. I think I'm gonna save this one for work. So what's up guys? My cousin Chris. What's up, if you guys haven't subscribed, make sure you guys subscribe. All right, so it's been a couple of days since I filmed that vlog and I just made the biggest mistake of deleting some of the extra footage that I had throughout the day. But we were just bowling and whatnot. But I guess I'm just gonna end today's video by adding that I do have the daily sitting in the garage and now this is the part that I have been looking forward to but I have not been looking forward to is actually cleaning the garage because I still have the broken axle still sitting here all our stuff cutting the resin extra carbon stuff whatever if anybody wants a Ecutech, I think it's the first version of it I'm gonna be selling that because I don't need it no more I also have some of the interior parts over here which again I really don't know if I have all of the right parts but i'm gonna have to put all of that together we also got the coolant expansion tank which we couldn't install as well also stock turbo inlets that i've had forever and i've never had the chance to sell them and another thing that i'm gonna have to collect and i'm pretty sure i lost a good amount is these grills right here these are basically the inserts that's gonna be for everything with the y body so i'm gonna have to collect that probably in the next day or so because i'm gonna have to go back to andrew's shop and i'm gonna be checking out the car as well as we have a lot of explaining to do with the paint and i also bought this weather stripping that i had to have expedite shipped that way we have the car sealed nicely for the wide body fenders but i'm gonna get into all of that later all the stock parts from the intercoolers, all here, bunch of stuff. We got the interior seats still sitting in the garage. So I do have to do a lot of cleaning. Other than that, guys, if you guys made it this far in the video, again, thank you guys so much for watching the video, following along with the build. 
we are almost there guys once we're done with paint the car is pretty much ready to be driven but again thank you guys so much for watching today's vlog if you guys haven't done so smash the like button for today's video drop a comment down below what color you guys think the car is gonna be and if you guys haven't subscribed please make sure you guys subscribe hit the post notifications i'll be posting a vlog every tuesday and maybe an extra one throughout the week so stay tuned for the upcoming vlogs and if you guys could do me the hugest of hugest favor Share this channel on your social media platforms, whether it's your TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. Tag me in it and I'll repost it too. And thank you guys so much for watching today's vlog. Remember, you guys are all called to be great. Oh, and actually, I am going to end my vlogs just a slight difference. You guys know that I always have a specific saying, but I'm adding just a little to it. So here it goes. Thank you guys so much for watching today's vlog. Remember that you guys are all called to be great. Be great in your own way. Stay driven and always to remember, challenge your standards.